Hi there. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Talend DI to connect to SQL Server. In my previous videos in this channel, I've showed you how to install SQL Server, how to set up the AdventureWorks database, and how to install Talend DI. This video is in continuation to these previous videos. You will find the link for all these videos in the description below. But feel free to browse my channel for other related videos. Okay, so let's start by launching Talent. Now, if you remember uh, in the previous video, we set up Talent in this folder, TDI. Here is the .exe file, but uh, I won't be double clicking it. Instead, I'll run it as administrator. So you can do that by right click, run as administrator. Now we have to do this because uh, sometimes the account that you are using, the Windows account, it may not have permissions on the C drive. So just to make sure we don't come across such issues, it would be better to right click and run as administrator. Okay, so now uh, it's asking me if I want to create a new project. It has detected that there is no existing project. So I'll go ahead with this option, click on finish. Every time you create a new workspace, it usually takes around 20 to 30 seconds to uh, set things up for that workspace. So this is expected. seems like it's mostly done so any moment now the designer should open up all right there you go so this is a quick tour uh, you can click on next just to uh, see what the other panels are about but uh, I'll click on close Now the objective is to set up connectivity to SQL Server. The way to do that is by uh, setting up a database connection first. So you see it opened up some, some demo job. I'm going to close that. Now on the left side, under the repository, there is the section called metadata. So metadata consists of objects that you can reuse across all your jobs. So I'll head over to the DB connections, right click, say create connection. Now in the name I'll type as local SQL server. The purpose and description are optional. I'll skip them for now. Click on next. Now here it's very important. Uh, when you set up a connection to a database, uh, we beat any tool. It may be Talent or any other ETL tool that connects to a database. There is always a well-defined uh, set of steps. First, you select the database type. Next, you uh, 
you know you probably select the version of the database and then you set some obvious properties for the database such as what is the host name what is the port the username the password the database schema and and so on some databases may have additional details so the same applies here as well from the database type i am going to select microsoft sql server in doing so you can see the long list of databases that talent supports Now, once I've selected this, the DB version, you will see by default is open source JTDS. Now, if you click on this drop down, there is one for Microsoft as well. So what this means is, uh, which driver do you want to use to connect to the SQL Server? Do you want to use Microsoft's own driver or do you want to use the open source JTDS driver? So for now, we will just leave it at the default, which is open source JTDS. The login will be SA. The password will be whatever you provided when setting up the SQL Server database. The server will be the machine on which SQL Server is installed. In my case, it is the same server, right? It's on my local machine. So I'll type in localhost. The default port for SQL Server is 1433. I haven't changed that, so I'll leave it as is. The database will be Adventure Works DW2014. This is the database that I want to connect to by default. And schema will be DBO. So I guess uh, I've entered all the details. So let me click on test connection. Okay, so it says connection failure. Uh, this is expected. And I'm going to show you how to resolve it. So it says uh, connection refused. So if you have followed my previous video to set up SQL Server, in that case, what you should do is head over to programs, Microsoft SQL Server 2014, configuration tools, and the configuration manager. Now, in the Configuration Manager, in the left panel, look for this category, which is SQL Server Network Configuration. Under that, you have protocols for Microsoft SQL Server. You see that of the three protocols, the TCP IP and named pipes are disabled. So what we should do is we should right click on TCP IP and enable it because Talent connects to SQL Server over TCP IP. So here it says that any changes that we do here will not be affected until the service is restarted. So we'll click on OK. Now, although it's enabled to be able to really uh, apply it, we'll have to go to services.msc. You can do that by just typing in the start window here. Oops, I think I missed a S here, services.msc. Now look for SQL Server. So I'll just uh, hit on the alphabet S in the keyboard. That takes me to everything that starts with S. And here you go, MS SQL Server. Right click on this, restart. Now give it a few seconds. Yep, it's, it's all done now. Let's, let's go back to Talent. Click on OK. And now, test connection. Bingo. So you see, it says the connection was successful. Click on OK. And click on Finish. So what we have done is we have created a DB connection to the local SQL Server. And as per the metadata connection, the connection was successful. But for me, uh, I really want to test it with a job. I want to be able to read the contents of a table from the database. So to do that, go to job designs, right click, create job. I'll say test SQL Server, but you can name it anything that you want. 
click on finish from the palette I'll head over to databases go to DB specifics under that SQL server drag MS SQL input here so let's try and configure this so here the JDBC drivers open source JTDS and the property type okay so I'll explain in a bit what a property type is so uh, since I added the component now I need to configure it and uh, you see some details here uh, which are empty at the moment host port schema database username now these are very similar to the metadata uh, options that we created it's the exact same configuration now what we want to do is we want to reuse the connection details that we entered here so to do that head over to the property type click on repository click on this three dots icon and it directly takes you to the metadata and shows you all the connections that are available so the moment I select it you see all the other parameters are filled and uh, they are also grayed out uh, that is because uh, you know that's talents way of letting you know that the values for this are coming from the variable and uh, you know you shouldn't uh, ideally change it right okay so now once this is done uh, the next available option for us is the table name so obviously we want to connect to a specific table or a specific query now I can type in the table name if I know or if I want to browse through the list of tables I'll click on this button right here so now what you see is talent is using all these uh, connected connection details to connect to SQL Server and get a list of all the tables that are available there you go so if you see this it means the connection is successful in fact it has connected to the AdventureWorks DW 2014 database and you can uh, see the tables here I'll select dim date click on OK now in the query I'll type select star from dim date now when you type this uh, all we all we are saying talent is that this is the query but where are we saying what are the columns right so uh, there has to be a way talent should know that when you run this query these are the columns uh, with their particular data types that are going to come as a result right it has to have prior information of the schema so to get those values you can click on this button guess schema so when you do this talent is going to use this query run it against the database and look at the schema of the result now this is the uh, output of it it has detected that there are these many column columns these are the column names and these are the data types so I'll go with this default values I'll click on OK so we have set up the input parameter or the input component uh, I would want an output component just to make sure that data is indeed flowing from the database to talent and to a particular target for the target I'll choose a file head over to the file palette output I'll select a delimited file drag and drop from the input to the output you see uh, the default file name will be under TDI workspace out.csv uh, which is fine with me I'll just check this option which is to include the header and let's run this
Okay. So the job took around maybe three seconds. It's completed now. The way to verify if it indeed fetched the data is to go to the TDI folder under that the workspace and here I can see the file the CSV file that was created out.csv file and it has some data I can tell because I can you know look at this file size it's 344 KB so right click and I'll open it with notepad and there you go okay so with this uh, we can we can say that we have been successful in connecting talent to SQL Server. Now we did all these standard steps that are required to establish connectivity. The only additional step that we had to do is to enable the TCP IP port. So when you do a fresh installation of SQL Server, by default, the TCP IP protocol will be disabled under SQL Server network configuration. So this is the only check that you have to do. So that brings us to the end of this video. Thank you very much.